Hope you're keeping well. This is Ian Board here from Tala Community School. I am just recording a short video to show parents and guardians for anybody at home what our online learning platform is and how our students are receiving online work at the moment. So we are using an application called Microsoft Office 365 and the two main apps inside that are Outlook and uh, Microsoft Teams. So the Outlook for students receiving emails off teachers and Microsoft Teams for students submitting work uh, and receiving their homework from their teacher and general contact with their teachers taking place through Microsoft Teams. So for anybody that can't get access to their account, feel free to email us on office at talisyesterday or ian.borden at talisyesterday. Of course, you can download Microsoft Office 365 uh, on your phone or your tablet at home, but it kind of best works there online on a laptop computer just for submitting work. But they do work just as well on a phone or a tablet as well. So look, I'm going to show you basically how to sign in. Uh, every student in the school has got a unique login detail. It starts off with their first initial, their surname, and the year they join the school at Talis yesterday. And then each student has their own unique password. So they can sign in. I'm going to show you, do a trial student sign in and show you how it works. Uh, and they can sign in and receive their work online through Office 365. So I'm going to take you through that step-by-step -step process. So if you go to Google and type in Office 365, I'm going to log in. I'm going to sign into a student account, a sample account that I set up. So John Murphy, Tara, CS, So when you log in, this is the interface you get for Office 365. The two main apps they're using is Outlook, which is their email. And here, this is where they can get in contact with teachers, myself, or anybody in the school at all, uh, to compose an email to see if they have any concerns regarding work or anything at all that's going on. If you look at the nine dots in the corner, it gets Betsy back to the start. So this is the other interface, the other main app they're going to use is a thing called Microsoft Teams. And here, I'm just going to talk you through the interface and the main things that they're going to be using on Microsoft Teams. So the three things that they're going to be using on Teams basically is for getting in contact with their teacher regarding any queries they have, receiving the work that they have, and then submitting the work. So I've got two sample teams that this John is, is, is a the sample student is a part of. It's part of Ian Test and the second year science Mr. board. All his teams are here and all his assignments is, will be pop up here, but you just click on the team itself. Just missed there. Click on the click on the team again and load. Now in this team up here, this is the general outlook of it here. Uh, you teachers can post uh, course work here, assignments here, and uh, they'll be posting notes here and general instructions for the students to engage with and, and it's kind of a conversation place in the post section. Any work that a teacher posts up there will all, for files or any other documents will go into the file section and the file section is where they can see all the previous documents that have been loaded. So that's the general layout there of the Teams app, what it looks like. The two main sections the student will be working with is posts and files. If they want to go back to their Teams, you just click on the All Teams section. But the last thing I want to show you here basically is the most important part for, for students submitting work, and that is the Assignments tab. So I have a sample assignment that John has submitted already. How he, assigned, how he uploaded the assignment was he, uh, he got a set of maths questions from the teacher. And in that set of maths questions, what he had to do was take them down in his copy book, write out the solutions, and then take a picture and submit it back up. So what John did was he added a picture of his homework under my work, uploaded that from his uh, computer or from his phone, and what he did is submit that. And what the teacher did, and he turned it in. And turned it in means his minute signed. What the teacher did was he gave feedback and gave some points and was allocated towards that. So if the, if the student is having difficulty submitting work, the best way to do it is through the assignments tab. You add a picture of your work or you can add a document or you can add any other piece of work that you want to do at all that you've done, you completed your work on. But pictures and Word documents are more than likely, or PowerPoints are more than likely how teachers are asking students to do their work, depending on what it is. And the teacher then will give a bit of feedback there on how they got on. So that's basically the Teams uh, the Teams app, and that's the interface they're using there. If there's any other parent that needs any other support regarding uh, to get in contact with regarding any issue at all, there's the email addresses of them, Aidan, the principal, myself and Claire, the deputies, our career guidance, Ms. Griffin, and our chaplain, Ms. Ray. Thanks very much, and stay safe.